guys welcome back to my channel i'm beauty body on d today we're going to be reviewing the new coat oh, this is the clean fresh silk moisturizing foundation and i picked out the shade rich deep there's other categories in this foundation i will insert a uh, clip here of the foundations and the shade range but that they do have a better shade range to pick from because sometimes we don't really get that much love the woman of color so let's get to the video so i picked out the shade 610 rich deep this is a vegan foundation and it's dewy finish and it has 30 milligrams one fluid ounces and it says on the back here vegan and formulae vegan and formulated with tallet i will insert information Blurs out imperfections, um, evens out skin tone, sheer beautiful coverage, and instant all day hydration. So, we're going to see about that. And this also lasts for 18 months. Um, I am a type of person that I love a really, really, really full coverage foundation. Okay, I have to let you guys know. Um, I really like a full coverage foundation. I do not like sheer or anything i have to really like to have that natural pool beat because i have some problems on my skin that i really want to cover up while i'm out i'm still getting used to going out with wearing you know little makeup on the days when i don't really feel like feel like pulling out uh, putting on a lot of makeup on my face i still have that um what should I call it? The anxiety a little bit. But I'm getting used to it. So don't worry. <laughs> so I chose 610. And 610 kind of looks like it could be in my category range. But hopefully we did good with the shade range. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already kind of opened it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my skin. And today I'm going to be using the... I think this is, right. this is the L Powder Brush. I'm going to use... Oh, powder brush do show. This kind of look like it can work well for my skin. I'm hoping that it does. I don't want to have to go back and, you know, change it out. But you can find these at Ulta. I do have my face moisturized, prepped, and primed, ready to go. So let's see. Based off the swatch, hmm. Let's hope for it. Okay, she is a little bit yellow to me. Like, she's more yellow than I expected. Rich Deep, I would think it could be next to the lightest shade of Mahogany a little bit, but... Sis, okay. Oh, and it smells. It doesn't have a good smell. I mean... Can we work with this or no? Let's work. So I chose Rich Deep because I felt like it was closest to the darkest shade next to the closest shade. And I chose it because one, it's kind of hard for me to pick out one, my actual shade. Two, I felt comfortable in the area of picking it out and three I thought hey based off with the bottle it will look good but obviously she's a little light she's just a little too light for me but can't never say never so we can also work her in and get her to cooperate so as of right now, she is looking just a little bit sheer and a little bit tad bit light, but um, but I'm not understand like rich deep looks more of my category, and this milk foundation is kind of like giving me a BB cream type of vibe. It's not giving me nothing different. It's giving me the same formula. So I'm like what difference is I'm supposed to be looking at or 
comparing it to like look how like that is and then I'm gonna tell you guys like I said in my last previous video I like when the product looks like the product on the product like if that makes sense <laughs> if it looks like it if it's not gonna be misleading or anything I'm okay with it but if it's gonna be misleading which I'm getting from this right now um I'm not too happy with the choice of the color that I picked because she is too light and she is as of right now too sheer yeah she's too light and then she's too sheer and I can still still see areas where I'm having problems with I don't know yet guys I'm even scared to even put concealer on like I am that scared like to put concealer on I'm about to so well just go straight in with the powder and set my under eyes and proceed with caution because it's already a light mess on my face right now so what I'm gonna do is save this video by applying this so it's been an hour since I actually actually filmed and recorded this foundation review and this is what it looks like and back in lighting and as you can still see it still looks light but different lighting it looks kind of dark at the same time then it looks light so um, I don't know you guys I really do not know don't know okay so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the foundation okay so the foundation shape range is pretty okay it could be a little bit better I had to go back on the website it could be a little bit better you guys but I can not say it does oxidize a little bit so after you allow it to set for a, cool, for a few seconds go in with a darker shade and it'll give that full effect of a foundation look I don't like lightweight foundations I don't like sheer at first I was getting that sheer lightweight foundation look and I don't think it's comfortable for me as of the moment as of right now because I have a little bit of issues on my face that I'm kind of de dealing with you can see it just a little bit on my skin but overall um, the powder that I did use which is drugstore one it's LA colors I contour and then I also brought it back together and it just really sat well with the with the foundation and it looks so good and amazing I did not have a problem with the foundation after that I would rate this foundation as a five because I feel like with the choice range I could have done just a little darker just get it right but it still kind of settled to where the two products was able to blend together and work plus the setting powder which I use the Morphe banana setting powder under the eyes I did not go to with the concealer because I didn't really want to overdo it with a concealer of, uh, um, on my skin but it does turn out well as far as you know once you allow each product to set and settle for a couple of seconds give it some time to work and gather itself gather its thoughts you know regroup and it'd be great so that's my thought of this foundation this is the review of the CoverGirl clean fresh skin milk Moisturizing foundation rich deep 610. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Give this video review a big thumbs up and also make sure you thumbs up this video itself and make sure you also subscribe if you're new and also hit the notification bell. Alright guys, I gotta go and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.